Oh, slaying dragons is hard work. So let's all gather around the table and split the hoard, shall we? In this game, you're going to be divvying up all of the treasure that you've got from slaying the dragon. It plays in three simple steps, reveal, negotiate, and claim. On the reveal phase, everybody simultaneously takes three cards and you're going to decide which coin value you want to assign to that card. In the print and play, like I have, it's a card that's for the coins. However, in the full edition, you're actually going to get a player board that you'll be able to see. Once you've decided the value of each of those coins, you can also decide to put any more coins from your hoard onto that card to make it more valuable. Then going around the table, everyone's gonna have the chance to buy one of those treasures and put it into their own personal treasure hoard. Then whatever you have left over is actually going to come to you. That's the claim phase. Along the top are some titles that are always gonna be in the game. These ones range from things like creating a rank, which is the value on a card that you'll see, or creating a consecutive run of a rank. Now you also have your own personal title, which is just the same as those titles up front, but private. And throughout the game, there's cards that you can actually do to help you get more of those cards so that you can score even higher. You also have player powers that help you resolve any ties for your class, as well as if anyone steals one of your treasures, you get to get some more money from the Horde deck. Then on the treasures themselves, there are also some collection mechanics there so that you, if you have a certain a couple of different other pieces of treasure, you're also going to score points. Your treasures also have abilities that you can do on any of those three phases, marked by whether or not it's at a reveal, negotiate, or claim phase. What's nice here is that there are both player interaction component cards here, as well as just collecting more and more cards and making yourself a little bit more full of treasure. Now, don't get too greedy. Coins aren't really worth anything at the end of the game unless you're trying to get that wealth title. You have to actually get some treasures. The game is over when the Horde deck is run out. All that treasure is split up. It's on Kickstarter now. Give it a check out. Make sure you check me out. Like, subscribe, and follow along for more.